Welcome to Princess Petals and Fairy Dust Florals. The next thing we're gonna do is a boutonniere. And we are gonna use these prefabricated boutonniere holders. They've already got the pins on the back. And we're gonna put a boutonniere together and just insert it right into the holder. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is snip off your miniature rose or whatever flower you're gonna be using. Uh, snap off the guard petals and the guard petals again are the ones that are curly and around the edges. And then I take the number 18 wire, gauge wire, and I'm just gonna pierce the calyx with it. Stamp. The reason why we are wiring our flower stems is because this way we can maneuver the stem. And now we're just going to go and tape it off. And again, as you pull your floral tape tight, it becomes sticky. From here, we're just going to start adding in little pieces that are gonna actually match the bouquet. I'd like to put in a piece of green, but I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna need a smaller one. So let me take this one up and then we'll see if we can smaller piece of greenery. And there we have, I've got my rose, my little spray rose, a little bit of status, my two little curtain mums, and then my dianthus. And from here, this would be my front, and now I've got to put all of that into there. What I like to do, let's get my cutters, and cut, clip that, and then just drop it right down in there. I like for it to stay so we can drop a little piece of the tacky floral gum in there. You could even put a little bit of uh, glue. You could even put a little bit of glue in there. I'd rather use the tacky floral gum. And there you go. And that would be pinned right onto the lapel. Like and subscribe below and until next time, sparkle on. Today, we are gonna be working with a Tussy Mussy holder. These are beautiful uh, filigreed metal containers that you do your bouquet in and then you just drop it right in here. Uh, I always like to put just a little bit of gum glue. I mean, I always like to put just a little bit of the tacky floral tape down in the bottom just to secure it, but I like to put it in uh, hidden places like on the back of one of the filigree flowers so it's not uh, very easily seen. Uh, something you can also do when using these, you can wrap the stems of your flowers after you've done the bouquet in uh, satin or satin acetate. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, today, uh, I may try both. We're just gonna wait and see which one looks better. Uh, a lot of times the brides will have these uh, little medallions on them and they can get them engraved. Uh, this one has not been engraved as of yet, so I will need to uh, take that off before we do our arrangement. But I'm going to leave it on here for now because this is our demo. Tussy Mussy. Let's look it up so I can give you the correct definition. Tussie Mussie. Tussie Mussie. Spelled two different ways. T-U-S-S-I-E M-U-S-S-I-E or T-U-S-S-Y M-U-S-S-Y. A dainty compact round bouquet of mixed fragrant flowers and herbs arranged either in a random pattern or organized in concentric circles. This style is associated with the Victorian era and the name uh, is derived from an old English term for a nosegay, meaning small clusters of flowers wrapped in moss. See nosegay. There we go. So that is our AIFD official term, 
The flowers we're going to be working with today are Kermit Mums, uh, Dianthus, some little spray roses, and Status, and then a little bit of Baby's Breath. Uh, whenever you get your stems of flowers, you are always going to have the shoots of five to ten stems on a shoot, five to ten shoots on a stem. It's best to just remove those. It's best just to have three to five blooms on each one. And you really want to make sure that you are not taken away from any blooms. So this is really too um, crowded for a cluster. Oh, my nose is itching. So I would actually take something out. I'm probably going to take this one out. And that way you can enjoy each one. And I probably could take that one out too. We'll see after I get it in the arrangement how it looks. And then you just want to start doing it pretty much like a um, hand tied bouquet, putting everything together at a 45. This is a tiny little bouquet that's going to go in the Tussie Messy holder. So it's not going to require a large amount of flowers. And see, I'm not really liking how that is just shooting out there. So you can go and just uh, see how these are lined up. And I'm just going to snip it right there. That way, I've only got a little bit of that color peeking out and not just a big old stem of it shooting out. The width of this has got to fit into my Tessie Messy holder, so I want to make sure I don't go over that as far as width. And now I'm going to cut these down and I'm going to tape all those off if I can find my uh, full tape. Here we go. And here we have the stems. You can always put a little water source on here and then drop it down in there. Go ahead, tape it all the way down, even covering the water source if you need to. Or you, I've seen plenty of them just straight like that, drop down in there. And you will want to secure it in there because if you're, it's gonna come out very easily. Here we have our Tussie Mussie and then our little boutonniere that uh, they both have like that conical uh, theme shape going through the whole wedding. The Tussie Mussie is a really elegant uh, holder that can be used at any style wedding, I believe. And that is our Tussie Mussie. Like and subscribe below. And until next time, sparkle on.